Yo, what's up YouTube? Um, we got rune removal uh, done yesterday and I tried to build a Necropolis B10 team. Um, I will show you it in action. I gotta say, it's not, it, it can outdo it, but it's not there yet. Like I need to uh, scale up my WA because right now she is not having enough um, maximum um, harmful effect rate so it's not like reliable enough so I'll show you the run and uh, I'll have I have to do the, the boss manually otherwise it's there's the success rate is like what I, I would say like 70% or less so it's not like there yet you know but it's it's a team that will work um, so if I make some improvements, get, especially get some skill ups on Hawa, because I need the effect rate to go up, uh, and then it's going to be a lot more reliable if the slow hits, because that's the thing. Like I need to get that slow hit every time instead of not hitting like multiple times in a row. So I thought we'll just show you this. Um, this team does you do auto V9 very well. Uh, it doesn't really have much issues there at all. Um, but I will do this run, then I'll show you B9 on auto, and there's definitely the potential of this team to work really well. Um, ex except that I need to like skill some things up. Like you need quite a lot of, uh, how do you say that? Decent room quality, not you don't need the past, but you need decent room quality, and you need good health on every unit, and you need skill ups um, for a lot of the units. So I I need to get that slow. That's like the most important of the whole debuffing. The slows are so important in this team, and Awa is the one that's supposed to uh, do the damage, but also do the slows. And she doesn't always hit the slow. If she does hit the slow first turn, it's it's really like it's pretty safe to say that you're gonna get the boss down. If she does not, uh, and it's on auto mode, it's not like it's a lot less safe. But um, the team works as followed. Bella goes first because Bella is not specifically built for this team, but it works as the healer. So Bella goes first. Then Colleen, that's the fire harpoon. Um, then the Shiwa, and then the Koba Bomber, and as last, Hawa. So we'll just uh, show how everything goes. So first, Bala. And I'm gonna heal up because I noticed that my Hawa was low. And we just hit through the shield as much as we can. We might put a brand on. We did not get the brand. That sucks. So now, I need to get this speed, but it only has a 50% chance, and it will go up higher when you skill it up. But that's, as you can see, it didn't really work out. And it's not really too problematic yet. It's just too bad, you know. It is just, come on, slow. Okay, there we go, we got a slow now, so we will definitely um, be able to take him down a bit oh we don't have the brand yet let's try to put on the brand because that will do more damage and the meteor bombs where the damage comes from mainly plus a wa it's both a wa and the meteor and we can put on a defense rake as well now uh, we can even go for the heal debuff so there's no healing going on from the boss and as you see because of the slow, I actually get two turns uh, instead of like one, uh, and then he goes again. So it's such an important thing to have, um, and that's really why I think if I get my Awa to the the point where where she is gonna be to the point where she's gonna be like hitting those slows really frequently, like always. That would be best. Then I think I can say that uh, I got this dungeon done. You know, then then it's like this dungeon is an auto. Right now, that's not the case. That's why I'm manually lost stage or lost boss at here. But 
for auto mode I have to farm B uh, basically I have to farm B um, B9 because B9 for whatever reason I can do without any troubles so let's see if we can get the slow one this time come on there we go we got the slow one so we should be fine uh, to do this to be honest on manual I can beat it like always because then you don't make weird mistakes like it's dead now but on auto it's it's a whole different story and then you really need to rely on your uh, effects and the run doesn't really take that long for Necropolis that is but um, let me show you the runes that I use right now so the runes I will follow them like who's going first so first off Bella these are my Bella stats uh, he is really uh, my he's built for AD and uh, offense both of those so he's, his speed is maxed uh, at, at the speed of that he just goes before my attackers uh, so nothing too special about him I got a max skill obviously uh, that's pretty important for the heal and I got violent focus I would love to put revenge on there but that's gonna be difficult um, because he's not he's you need good runes because I want to use him everywhere but let's go on the second unit and that's going to be Colleen. This is my Colleen. Um, what you want to aim for is high health um, and actually high accuracy as well. Like my accuracy is, I would like to have it a little higher but the health is important. Um, if you got her to 6 star it would be a little easier because she has 10k base health almost. So, And you need enough speed so that she goes a second. Um, also this is a 2 star so really get her skills maxed out because that's when you like this skill will be able to get more chance of hitting and it will just heal more and return cooldown so that's necessary um, then the third one will be Hawa uh, sorry Hawa, uh, Shiwa almost Hawa so she is like kinda weirdly ruined in my opinion um, because she's not really like I had her on a full damage pack before, right? And that doesn't work. First of all, Shiwa doesn't have great multipliers. Second of all, her damage comes mainly from the dots that she does and the brand effect. So what you want on him is some decent attack or her, I should say, some decent attack, um, lower speed than your first, well, lower speed than Bella and Colleen, but higher speed than the rest of the group. So you need some sort of speed, uh, probably, and a decent amount of accuracy and decent amount of health. So right now I'm I'm having all all close to 20k, but let's say we are at, no no close to 19k I should say. So 90k health, uh, just plus eight on a 30 attack and like mediocre stats. These on violent revenge and the runes are okay-ish, like this rune. I have some improvements here by the way, like this room can get maxed which would help with the health, then this room can get ha could get maxed for some more attack, and then we got this rune that could also be maxed for some more attack. This rune is actually pretty damn good. Now I see it, it's 13 speed and crit, that's not bad on the violent rune. But well, then we got Zibralta, Zibralta is like really one of the main DPS's together with Hawa uh, this is where the damage come from so Rata is a m my main attack unit but he needs accuracy and he needs a decent amount of attack and a decent amount of health pool he has really shit health so getting a lot of health on him is a bit harder um, the accuracy is okay-ish it will do uh, decent like that a bit more accuracy would not hurt I think actually it's kind of the key to the so I got no skill ups on him but if you see none of these skill ups have any harmful effect rate which basically means it's it's gonna do more damage but damage comes mostly from the dots from the last skill it would be nice to get the cooldown turn obviously but yeah uh, violent revenge once again uh, all your multiple hitters you should have uh, revenge on um, because that will help like quite a lot so 
use attack, HP, and attack. So double attack and HP runes. Um, one thing to note, double attackers or multiply, uh, multiple attacking units uh, of mine are Zabralta, Shiwa and uh, Colleen. And you will see all of them run revenge, violent revenge. And the revenge on those units are very important because that will bring the shield down so much faster. Um, even running some units multiple revenge sets would be good. Um, but then the last unit is Hawa, my damage dealer. She's also built as a damage dealer. As you can see, she has not had that much uh, HP. Still a, a, an okay amount, like 14k, it's not the worst. Decent amount of attack. Um, speed really low because she is the one that needs to go last. 70% uh, crit rate, 150% crit damage, and 50% accuracy. Um, no max skills yet, and that's what I need because right now it's 50%. Um, and it will go up to 15 plus, 10, plus 15, so that's uh, 30, so that's 80%. 80% putting the slow on is a lot more reliable. But that's really what is important right now that I need to get her uh, and need to get her up to higher, uh, not accuracy rate, but I mean harmful effect rate. So she is violent blade. Why blade? Because she is one of my damage dealers, and I need to get her to do the damage for me uh, by just hitting him, and that's why. The stats are like overall, the stats are pretty okay. I would also like to have more accuracy there. Uh, I do use Shiwa as lead uh, because of that 40% attack power, which is great. But I could go with uh, him as lead to increase the attack uh, accuracy of all the units, which I might test out a bit more because that would bring him on 100%. Uh, her close to 100, um, also a walk close to 100. And she is also pretty close to 100. That would be maybe interesting to do. I will show you guys uh, the B8 run, uh, B9 run on full auto. Because I just need a little bit more improvement to make this team go like the distance on, on B10. I can auto it, um, but it does fail uh, from time to time. Let me just quickly check uh, auto. It should be okay, but um, yeah, the team works really well, and it's not the most difficult team that that I've like seen before. Like it's pretty, a lot of the units are not difficult to get. Obviously, the Nine Tail Fox, the Zebrat, and the Hawa are summons that you need to pull or either fuse, but. Um, I had them around and I noticed that this uh, in theory should work and in, in well, testing it out it actually does work so that's really good. Um, obviously the main uh, main tactic here is to just get multiple hits and then just dot them up and do some decent damage uh, to him with just monsters. When you've done that you will be like if you got like multiple hitters in that it's gonna be so much easier and I had a lot of fire units playing around with that uh, specific uh, task so I just went with that uh, and yeah it, it's working just need to work on my B10 because that slow is so important and Awa is not always putting it on but she needs she will get more harmful effect rate which will basically make this work a lot better so, you will also see, if I do not get the slow on the boss, like in the first two times or something, it's going to be a bit harder to defeat him, um, if not fail. But on B9, that actually doesn't really happen too often. It's more B10 uh, I'm talking about. On B10, I can finish it every time if I manual the boss, but that's not ideal. Um, but I just want to show you guys that it is uh, doing well as an outer team. 
There we go, we got some dots. No slow, should that last suck. But not much we can do again. Again, no slow. So this is gonna be a bit annoying because I'm not getting the slows I need. And now we choose to dot it. So it's not ideal here when when Hawa is not like if you put the slow on right away that makes it so much easier. Right now I think it's because it's B9, I will probably still finish it without too much problems. Because I got more time to finish him off. In B10 you have less time to do that. And in B9 I have plenty of time how it looks like. So that's really something that I think if I would upgrade the runes a bit, get a bit more effect, uh, harmful effect rate from the WA, I might have a good outer team on B10 in a few uh, weeks when I got all that stuff done. Obviously, a WA will be, uh, it will not be easy, and I also am not 100% sure I'm gonna like, put my Devilmons in WA right now. It's still like not my main priority to do to Necropolis. Still, I, I had not had a slow, so this is really terrible uh, for the for the run because I would do so much more damage. But I still I still killed him. I think I killed him twice now because of that not having the slow. Uh, but I will be able to get him pretty sure. Okay, we are. Pretty close, but we gotta get him down right now because he's gonna get he's gonna hit quite hard. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a super tricky boss. I really think uh, one of the bosses that is really something else. Still no slow. There we go. We got a slow. It's almost dead, but that helps me because now I can go another turn normally. But as you can see, B9, even without that slow uh, for two kills, I got it done. Uh, there are times when I put on the slow the first time and it dies really fast. Uh, so that's really uh, my B10, Necropolis. I will put in another video where I do B10. Uh, I will put in another section where I just show you guys a B10 run that out actually does work out uh, on auto mode. I mean, it's not really a problem. It's just that it's not really safe yet because all of this is the harmful effect rate of a wire is lower. I think if I try out to uh, use the brawl test lead, that might help a bit, but some people say that you barely notice it for some reason. So I really think it's the harmful effect rate. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also hope you guys learned something from it um, so that you guys uh, can build your own team. What is important in this dungeon is basically bring a slow and bring, um, I would say, bring a slow and bring uh, multiple hitters with dots. Because, like, um, for example, Orochi can be a very good one, and the Water Code Girl can be a very good DPS unit plus the multiple hitters so that's really good um Colleen, also an awesome unit that's the fire harpoon and it's a really easy unit to get but she really does shine the the fact that she heals 25 percent and and does a heal debuff and does an attack debuff and boost your attack it's just great she has a really good kit and she has pretty decent stats as well so yeah uh, we're gonna actually I don't think I got it on uh, oh, okay we have it yeah okay so we're gonna see this one through before I end the video but I could like if I don't get the slow early on I, there's a big chance it's not gonna be a successful run so <coughs> we will see Too bad they don't target the Lich right away because that would be a lot faster, but hey, can't have everything.
Also, the Brawl does more damage, the more effects are on the, the boss, or any unit for that sake, so the Brawl first attack really starts doing some serious damage in a few, like, after a few uh, dots and stuff hit. So, that's definitely something uh, that, that helps out, also, like, that helps out quite a bit. <clears throat> But I think I'll be running B9 for right now, uh, and and just work my way up to B10 when it's a little bit more reliable. Uh, when I get skill ups, maybe some more upgrades on runes, because most of the runes are pretty decent already. And uh, yeah, I don't want to waste too much mana right now on it. At least on some of the runes, like the four slot of a wa of a Shiwa. Not that awesome, but her six slot was pretty good, so I'm definitely gonna upgrade that. So we did not get any slow, so let's hope that right now we get the second hit with a slow. There we go. This will this will enable us to have a chance of getting him some damage into him. And getting some dots on, that's also pre uh, not dots, I mean some debuffs on. Okay, he took a while, like usual. He will always, well, in this team, he will always. Why are they not? This is what I hate. They don't just ignore the imprison while I just set it up. That's so stupid. Sorry for that, but I just. Sometimes it, when you put on the auto mode and you, and you have it set to. Kill the imprison first, and you just set it up, it doesn't always do it. I don't know why, but it happens. Okay, let's hope and get some stuff in. Can I get a slow in? No, but we get really close. Okay, he will die. So that's nice, but now we now the fun part starts. Can we pull through? No slow, come on! Damn it, no slow. Are they attacking Gibraltar? I have to make sure that they do that, Rios. It's not set for some reason. And that's really not good. He's starting to hit quite decently hard, so I need to get through him and, uh. Yeah, basically, <laughs> make sure that he doesn't hit that hard anymore. With an attack debuff. Okay, we got the slow one, and we still have the whole team. That's good. Let's see if we can do some more damage on him. Wow! Sometimes I'm amazed how bad it goes. Go on, guys! Give me those freaking dots and procs and whatever. But the slow, you see, the slow. If you have the slow one, you get so many more turns. There we go. I got it done. The only thing I had to click on my imprison soul because for some reason it wasn't targeting it, even though I set it up like that. But as you can see, it can do B10. It's just not um, reliable enough for me right now, and I need to upgrade some runes, and then it will hopefully be. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. This was my Necro B10 uh, team, and also guide in a way. Uh, so yeah, if you really have some questions about what units uh, you can use or what else, just uh, comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!